Lightning strikes from storm clouds down to the ground. It also strikes up into storms and also out into thin air. Sometimes isolated sparks shoot up out of the ground. Lightning channels sometimes sail in strong wind and take bizarre, unlikely paths through the sky. This video is about the weird behavior of strange lightning. Most of us have seen epic lightning bolts branching from the cloud down to the ground, but have you ever seen lightning bolts branching up? Upward moving lightning or ground to cloud lightning often has a strange smooth and fluid channel. This type of lightning was extremely rare prior to the industrial revolution and is said to have only occurred from mountain peaks. Tall man-made structures help trigger this discharge and increasing skyscrapers and radio antennas are making this brilliant phenomenon more common. Most lightning discharges occur only in the clouds, never striking the earth. This is called intra-cloud lightning, but sometimes it leaps out into the naked air, and so this phenomenon is called cloud-to-air lightning. During a lightning storm, it's a good idea not to be the tallest thing standing around, but that doesn't mean you're safe if you're the shortest. Lightning seems to have a physics-defined mind of its own and often takes unlikely, erratic paths before striking a random target. Milliseconds before a typical lightning strike, a stepped leader advances from the cloud to the ground. Before reaching the ground, a charged ionic channel called an upward streamer reaches up to meet the leader. When they connect, a massive electrostatic discharge flashes. This particular strike surged through the tree and exploded out the base of the trunk, where it then traveled into a house frying all sorts of electrical equipment before bursting out the water main on the other side of the house. During some strikes, multiple upward streamers spark up and only one makes a connection. In rare photographs, you can see these lonely upward streamers failing to make a connection. After a strike, the main lightning channel begins to cool and sometimes decays into glowing fragments. This string of dots is called bead lightning or chain lightning. Sometimes lightning photographs have parallel successive flashes or strokes offset from each other. This is called ribbon lightning and occurs when strong winds actually blow the flashing channel through the camera frame. Here's some video of lightning actually sailing in strong wind. We've all seen lightning flicker, but we generally don't see all the flashes or strokes because they happen too fast for the eye to see. Some lightning strikes are said to flash up to 30 times. When you slow video down, you can detect more of the flashes, but this video was shot at 30 frames per second, and lightning can hide several strokes inside one of those frames. 480 frames per second will give a more accurate stroke count, but again, it is possible to have several strokes inside one of those frames. The best way to get an accurate stroke count is on one still frame, and for the best results, make sure you take your lens cap off. On a dark, stormy night, open your shutter, and pan your camera back and forth like this. If lightning strikes during one of your pans, you'll have recorded and separated the individual strokes. Notice the primary flash is the only one with branches. Perhaps the most mysterious form of lightning is ball lightning, which is said to be a luminous orb that can penetrate walls. Despite the trillions of selfies that are shot around the globe every second, oh. there is no solid photographic proof of ball lightning. In fact, its entire existence is based solely off of reported public sightings. I scoured the internet and I was only able to find one plausible photograph of ball lightning. Thanks for watching, friends. Till next time, happy trails. Oh, wow.